ओके एंड्रॉइड और आई ओ एस ऑफकोर्स आई फोन ऑफकोर्स आई ओ एस यू रिसेंटली शिफ्टेड टू एंड्रॉइड एंड दिस इज वन ऑफ द हीट डिबेट्स ऑन यूट्यूब बट यू हैव टू अग्री दैट इट्स कंप्लीटली समवन चॉइस बट लेट्स हेल्प पीपल फ्रॉम दी अदर साइड ऑफ द प्लेटफॉर्म टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट्स बेटर ऑन विच प्लेटफॉर्म सो हियर आर टेन कंप्लीटली न्यू रीजन वाई एंड्रॉइड इज बेटर देन आई ओ एस एंड नो आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट क्लीशे थिंग्स लाइक कस्टमाइजेशन अनलॉकिंग बूट लोडर रूटिंग एक्सेट्रा you know it i know it rather we'll talk about things that you use in daily life latest and practical things helpful in day to day usage and we'll start with number 10 and go to the best number 1 now before we get to the video here's a quick word from our sponsor for this video surfshark vpn now you are obviously being tracked on the internet what you watch and what you do so getting a paid vpn makes more sense and importantly for two reasons number 1 i wanted to watch a documentary on mummies and egypt and turns out it wasn't available in netflix india but it was available in netflix germany so i Can use Surfshark VPN and switch to Germany to watch the same content on Netflix seamlessly and safe. Also, Surfshark VPN unlocks content from other part of the world that are not available in India. Number two, Surfshark VPN starts as low as one thirty rupees per month, and it gives unlimited device access, so you can share it with your friends and family. Now, Surfshark has offered a very good deal for Team TW. You get eighty three percent off, and on top of that, three months extra free. All you have to do is go to Surfshark dot deal slash Techwiser and use promo code Techwiser. And not just that, on top of it, they offer a thirty day money back guarantee. In case you didn't like it, there's no risk in trying. So number ten is notifications, and no, I'm not gonna say iOS notifications are just messy they are not grouped i mean they are and android does group notifications better but here's something which a lot of people don't know like see here i have received a bunch of notifications from zomato and these are just promotional notifications and if you go here in ios you can turn off all notifications from zomato but I want a food from Zomato so I don't want to turn off those delivery notifications however on android you can just long press on this add notification turn off notifications and then you can disable just offers and promotions this is called notification channels and you can do this to Myntra Zepto Uber Ola every app or not just that suppose i use slack slack is like whatsapp but for work so those group messages disturb me i mean sorry mano so i can have a different notification sound for group messages so those group messages are annoying but i don't want to miss out on them as well so i can just go into group messages notification channel and just have a different ringtone for it easy but the point is clearly notification organization and customization is better and Remember the word customization. Now iOS has been working a lot on notifications since iOS 15, but it's a catch-up game as of now. Like Android has a built-in notification summary, or even if you have accidentally swiped off a notification, you can just view those old deleted notification in notification history. That's helpful as well as productive. And that word customization. Well, see here in iOS 15, iOS gave you the option to change your default browser and email app. Now it's too little, too late. On the same customization front, see here in Android, you can change your default browser, caller ID app, digital assistant app, launcher, SMS app, phone app. In fact, every link that you open on your phone can be customized to be opened in a different app. Like I don't like Google Chrome. I recently switched to Microsoft Edge. I can change my default browser. It seems so simple but so useful. And here's a very interesting thing I do. These days, if you press the power button, Google Assistant launches. So you can use an app called App Assistant Launcher. You can change the default assistant and now when I press the power button, I can launch Paytm for UPI payments. I can set up any app like that. And you can use Alexa instead of Google Assistant if you want. And here's a good example. These days, I don't have an answer for that. Alexa, stop. And here's a good example. These days there's a call recording announcement in all Google dialers that come by default. So on iQOO or Vivo phones, I can just enter this code, move to their phone app, set it as default and now I have the old dialer back. Same with the OnePlus Xiaomi phone, I can change my default dialer. Again, customizations and then have call recording without announcement. And while we are on that topic, you cannot call record on iOS. No. There are workarounds like you can use Google Voice call or there's paid services like tape a call where you'll have to call another number they'll forward your call and then record it now even with announcement at least you can call record on android and samsung absolutely supports call recording without announcement and i know some of you might not agree with that like pratik i don't involved in such tasks i don't need call recording well everyone has their use and call recording still stands as proof in court so it's so important but no call recording or 
true color on iOS. And while we were talking about how to get other dialers on Android, there's one more thing you can do in Android, which people love is side loading apps. Meaning you can download apps from your browser and install it on Android. You can't do that on iOS. There is a small option called Alt Store, but shh, don't tell anyone. And not just apps, you can even install an entire app store and use it without Google ID. Freedom and customization. Yes, in iOS, there are small, small workarounds. For example, to get unsupported HBO Max app in India, you'll have to change your country region to US and then it will work. But then it changes all your prices and subscription to US dollars. So not really practical and very expensive. And talking about freedom, here's point number six. Open to other products. Here's Apple AirPods Pro and it's connected to the Pixel 6 and Android phone. So now I remove it from my ears the video doesn't pause here. So even simple things like this on AirPods don't work if you pair it with an Android phone. Even the Apple Watch doesn't work with Android. On the other hand, here's Realme Buds Air 3 paired with my iPhone. And now I remove it from my ear, the video pauses. All the feature that works with Android also works with an iPhone. The point here is if Apple wanted, they can implement these for other devices, but they make it a that bit annoying, so you'll be like, I have an iPhone, I should just buy an Apple AirPods. And number five is Google Assistant is better than Siri. Like, it can read articles for you, just like that. Siri can also do it, but you'll have to use shortcuts or voiceover, which is not as smooth and easy as Google Assistant. And plus, it's better and quirky at replies. Even detecting different accents and language, which is a huge thing in India. Like, let me show you. Okay, can you set multiple timers on Siri? Let's try. Set a timer for 10 minutes. Set a timer for 10 minutes. All right, 10 minutes. And that's starting now. Set another timer for two minutes. Sure, your daily app timer for clock is set for two minutes. Hmm. Each day, the app will be paused once you've used it for two minutes. Interesting, so on Android, you can set multiple timers, but seems like on iPhone, it says, sorry, there's something wrong. Please try again. Boo, boo. So now do you think what's better? I think still iPhone is better. Prove it. Well, 6,000 like and I can prove it to you. Oh, yes. Also, one very small thing like here, if you go to Amazon and any home device or smart device that you search has minimum Google Assistant or Alexa support, Siri is the last. Now, I love Apple's live text from the camera, drag and drop objects from photos. That is great. Google should definitely learn from that. Now, Apple is always renowned for its superior updates. Like we had this iPhone SE, it launched in 2016 and it is getting iOS 16 in 2022, six years of update. Now, of course, it won't get the latest features, but you still get the latest updates and security patches. Now, Android is still playing catch up on updates with Samsung leading in like four years of Android updates and five years of security update. But here's the thing with iOS update. This is iPad mini 2 and it's working fine. But see here, if I open Slack on it, this version of iOS is no longer supported. And even I cannot download simple apps like Netflix, Prime Video because they no longer support on this iPad. So although this iPad hardware-wise is fine, but still kind of useless. So if it was Android in this case, you can just root and install custom ROM on it. And phones like Poco F1, Redmi K20 Pro, you can still install Android 12 on them and continue using it as long as you want. So custom ROMs had a hint of flavor, customization, and freedom to use your phone as long as you want. And this third one is kind of funny. iPhones have upgraded to OLED displays in iPhone X. It launched in 2018 and iPhones still don't have always on display. Always on display helps you to see the time, notifications, everything without unlocking your phone. And I know Apple takes a long time to polish their features, make it really good. And iPhone 14 is rumored to get always on display this year in 2022. But four years for an always on display seems a bit too long. Like a bit long. Now, another feature which is long overdue is USB-C port. I mean, the iPhone still has lightning port. Now, the thing is, the lightning port is still USB 2.0, whereas Pixels and Samsungs have moved to USB 3.1. Now, as per Apple, the reason to not upgrade the lightning port is a lot of users still have lightning cable, so it would make those old cables and accessories useless, but you know it, I know it, the real reason is something else. iPads, MacBook have all moved to Type-C now. It's just the iPhone and the AirPods. Now, the biggest number one reason Android is 
better than iPhone is options. If you want a gaming phone, buy a gaming phone. If you want a camera phone, buy a camera phone. Or just a budget phone. You can get an Android phone for 10,000 or 12,000. There are choices and options. By the way, here's a good video for phones around 10,000. In Apple, if you see, the cheapest iPhone that Apple still sells in India is the new iPhone SE 2022. That costs a whooping 43,990 only. Now suppose if iPhones were the only phones available, how many of us would have access to a smartphone? How many of us would have access to the internet? So whatever may be the reason, Android still gives a lot of people access to a smartphone and option. Apple just makes one size fits all. And that's the difference in approach between these companies. Android gives you options and let the user decide what's best for them and Apple decides what's best for the user. And how bad or good it might be, both approaches are not wrong. It's just a choice. And we as tech community or tech enthusiasts, we just learn and appreciate what's good on both sides. And in comments, tell me why you love your Android phone and one good feature or you why you love your iPhone and one good feature. And please be respectful to each other. Stay wiser, subscribe to TechWiser. And here's a good video on how an Android user feels while shifting to an iPhone. On that note, this is Pradeek signing off. See you in the next video. Pew, pew.